Hello, this is my presentation for ICO Challenge Egypt 2021. My name is Karim Asom from Alexandria. I've participated in VEX IQ Crossover 2017 and VEX IQ Ringmaster 2018, RoboCup Junior Egypt 2019, and EOI 2019 and 2020. In this challenge, I entered the Rescue Under-19 category, where I have to program the robot to navigate smoothly through the map within the map borders while collecting objects which it detects by the color sensor and depositing them in the deposit area. The task is to make the robot achieve a score as high as it possibly can by collecting as much objects as it can and depositing them in the deposit areas. Once the robot is able to detect, collect and deposit objects, the mission should be considered successful. My program goes according to the following plan. First of all, it checks if it's standing on a super object and collects it in case that's true. Then it checks if a super object has been newly created and saves its coordinates if that's the case. Then it resets the loaded object's value when it's in the trap or after depositing objects in the deposit area to avoid possible glitches. And then it checks for objects underneath it, black first, then cyan, then red. This order is put so in case it sees both black and red, for example, black is the priority since it gives more points. When it sees the deposit area with one sensor, it moves inside it so that it can see it with both sensors. It turns back with one wheel in case it reaches a border, it's in the yellow warning area, or it can see an obstacle in front of it. If it can see an obstacle on the right, it turns left, and if it can see an obstacle on the left, it turns right. To avoid the obstacles. When it's near a deposit area and it's fully loaded and with objects, it goes to the deposit area. If it's in swamp, it drives forward at maximum speed to get out of the swamp, and otherwise it just drives forward at the regular speed. I faced this problem while working on the challenge map, which was that the robot was getting stuck in a loop at the bottom left corner of the map. I fixed this problem by making the robot turn to the north and move straight to the north to avoid the problem completely and continue moving around the map. I've learned to adapt as much as possible to the programming languages limitations and available hardware components. Uh, for example, when uh, I wanted to collect super objects, I wanted to make the robot detect the super objects completely based on positions, x, y coordinates. But, however, due to that the program did not allow me to create arrays, only single value variables, I was not able to save multiple super object coordinates at the same time, so I had to also make this uh, based on the color sensors. That has been my presentation for the iCode Challenge Egypt 2021. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.